Hello, Steve White, Steve White's 89. Well, we finally have confirmation they are doing a Friday the 13th prequel series. Um, this has been something that's been in the water for a while. Um, it's going to be called Crystal Lake, and there have been sort of ideas floated around for years about how they could do this, um, ranging from a supernatural series where Crystal Lake is some, has some sort of curse on it or some sort of Hellmouth-like power to it that created Jason to a very straight drama about um, Pamela Voorhees raising this single um, child with needs in the 50s and then and also the idea of the aftermath of losing the child and becoming the Pamela Voorhees we see in the first film. There are a lot of ways this series could go. There's a lot of versions of, of this idea that have been put around. We don't know what we're going to get because um, Brian Fuller's in charge of it, and Brian Fuller has a very um, checkered past when it comes to TV series. He's created a lot of great shows that didn't rate well. He's also created a lot of great shows that he departed from very unceremoniously, um, including Star Trek Discovery, and some people claim that his departure is what ruined the show because they took his idea and just ruined it. But other people have said that the elements that didn't work for the show were the elements that he came up with that were retained. So it's, but are they just blaming him for what they did wrong to, because his idea was, you know, I don't know. So I'm very, very scared. Um, now, so far as the rights go, because the whole thing with the rights, I was hoping that the only good thing that could come out of the rights situation of the rights for the films being split up is that no one person could sort of do a film a new Friday the 13th film, so they'd work around it and do something like a Friday the 13th series or a Crystal Lake series, a prequel series or something like that, because they can get around the whole hockey mask wearing Jason Friday the 13th title, all those elements, and do a, like a Crystal Lake series dealing with Pamela and baby Jason, basically. So I've been hoping for something like that, and I did want a kind of Riverdale-esque sort of supernatural sort of series, because there was talk that um, they were going to do a series where the whole town is cursed, and Jason is just one of the, the, the things in, in this town, and he's just on the peripheral. So we would see him in the series at different points, but it wouldn't be about him. So are they going to do that? Are they going to do a straight drama about a single mother in the 50s with a child with needs? Or are they going to do the story of someone you know, who, who loses a child, goes through a tragedy, a trauma, and becomes a monster? Are they going to do all three? I don't know. Um, how long is the series going to go? How many episodes are we going to get? Uh, we don't know. We don't know anything much other than Brian Fuller's involved and he um, apparently is excited about it. <laughs> um, now, the guy who currently has the rights, um, Rob uh, Bassamian, I think his name is, he has the rights that Miller doesn't, and the two of them are actually working together, so they can actually use the Friday the 30th title. They can use Adult Jason and the Hockey Mask and everything, so we might actually see the mask. This might actually be in it, but it's sort of unclear um, because and I don't know what um, um, Sean S. Cunningham's involvement is my understanding is he doesn't he's you know he's given the rights to someone temporarily so he yes yeah, so it's 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 unclear but um I don't know I'm kind of excited but I'm kind of scared I'm kind of excited it's really happening we're gonna get the series and I mean I loved um, um, the psycho prequel Bates Motel. That was really good. But they had they had I mean they had a lot to work with with um Norman's um psychological problems. I'm not sure they did that just as a straight drama. It wasn't really a um a slasher or anything like that. Um I'm not sure if that same approach will work for Friday the thirteenth. I think they need to have some supernatural elements in it or something like that. But I don't know. What else did we hear about it? Not much. There really wasn't much um in the release. Just a little bit of Brian Fuller just talking about, you know, how much he loves the show and, you know, just very big, broad, general sort of terms in what they plan to do or want to do. Um, but, yeah, the exact plot, there's no information. Um, just that Brian Fuller will be a showrunner and executive producer. Victor Miller is also one of the executive producers, along with... Um, the rights attorney, Mark uh, Tobleroff, I think his name is, and Rob Barsamian, or whatever his name is, and it's going to be produced by 
um, A24, which I think is a um, production company. So that's really all we know. But I mean, the main news is it's 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 official. It's it's happening. We're finally getting it after all these years. And there's talk that they're also going to do films. And are the films going to lead into it? Are they going to do a remake of the original and a reboot of the whole series after this series? Or are they going to do a standalone film on its own as well as this? It's, a, it's very exciting times because we don't know what's coming down, what, what we're going to get. So we just get to sit back and just watch the Friday the 13th content come out. <laughs> I'm going to go for free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I'm equally... Excited, equally scared. It could go really amazing, but it could go very bad. We'll see.